Cyclists and pedestrian hotspots in four major Utah cities will be seeing some changes in the near future. Transportation officials say these improvements have been a long time coming, and now they finally have the funding. News specialist Nicole Val is live in Salt Lake City to explain. Guys, officials say they have received complaints about this particular area near 300 North and 500 West for decades. Crossing the railroad tracks here poses a risk to students nearby. Now a bike and pedestrian bridge is in the work, not, ju not just for here though, for three different cities thanks to a federal grant. This was a uh, grant of about $20 million that UTA applied for with 30 other partners, and we won it last year. The U.S. Department of Transportation noted four different spots in Utah that are in need of improvements when it comes to pedestrian safety and access. These are projects that have had a need for years and years. There just hasn't been a, a concise team and a, a program to bundle them together and get the funding, and that's here now. That funding will go toward building modernized pedestrian and bike bridges near Murray Park and the front runner stations in the fast growing cities of Provo, Lehigh and Salt Lake. The underpasses and overpasses for pedestrians and bikes are always a problem. Ashley Cleveland lives near the location in downtown Salt Lake City, and as a regular pedestrian traveler, she says an improved bridge over this railroad is long overdue. You know, kids come from high school and there's no sidewalk right here, so you see kids, you know, sometimes dodging, getting clipped, not necessarily because of the train, but because there's no sidewalk and they're walking in the bike lane. Cleveland attended a meeting here tonight to share her desire input on the project, safety, travel time, and accessibility to communities and employment are her top concerns. The more accessible we can make it, the better. It seems she and many others are ready for the change. I think that this bridge is a great step towards that, making Salt Lake City more biker friendly and more pedestrian friendly. And that grant money will also go toward improving sidewalks, bus stops, and bike trails in several other cities. But, Dini, of course, this step takes a while to complete. UTA is hoping to have these projects done by 2021. Back to you. Encourage